Hi there, Kaylin here with A Paper Smooch's card tutorial. Today I'm making a friendship card and I'm using the coffee and tea dies as well as the flourishes two dies. And I have the friend die here, but I'm actually not going to be using that. So the whole theme behind this card is using scraps that you already have on hand to make a really fun card. And I actually did have these scraps just lying around on my desk. I usually keep a pretty messy desk, so it's not hard for me to find paper scraps. Uh, but I just saw these kind of laying near each other and thought these look awesome together and the color schemes really work. So I just decided to make a card inspired by them. So I'm going to use that main mug die and I'm going to cut that out of a piece of pattern paper which is also a scrap that I had laying around on my desk. Uh, but first I'm going to use this background paper and this is from the 14 collection from Crate Paper. It's just a really pretty uh, ledger with some script and I think it has the word chocolate on it so it kind of goes with the food, coffee, hot chocolate sort of theme uh, of my card. So I'm just cutting this down so it will fit on the card front and it's going to be four and a quarter wide by five and a half inches tall. So now I'm taking that other piece of scrap paper and going to die cut my mug out of that and as you can see it's really nice. It's just a really subtle um, almost herringbone pattern but it's like a gray and a cream white color. So it's really nice and subtle and I thought it would stand out well against all of these patterns that I have going on. So I'm just kind of playing with those scraps seeing where that mug is going to look best and just kind of playing around with some ideas. I wanted to take this beautiful glitter gold cardstock and use the flourishes dies and that way it would look kind of like the steam that's coming out of the mug. So I'm just going to die cut those and here they are. They look really cute and just add a little bit of pizzazz I guess to this card. Now I'm going to take my Tombow Mono Multi Glue and just glue down that main piece of pattern paper that's going to serve as the background to my card. So just putting that right on the card front. Now I'm just taking my patterned paper scraps and I'm going to use my paper trimmer and just cut them down so that they're all the same size. So now I have all of my pattern paper pieces cut out and I'm just arranging them on my card. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put them in the center or on the side, so just kind of playing around with that. Turns out one of these needed to be cut a little bit more, so I just cut that floral one down. And then taking my coffee mug and my little steam die cuts that I cut from the flourishes and seeing how that looked. It turned out I didn't really like all of those flourishes. I thought it just looked like too many. So I just ended up using the smaller one. And then just rearranging my papers a little bit and just kind of finagling it until I got it perfectly how I wanted it. And I liked having those darker patterns at the bottom just because they offered more contrast to the light colored mug. So now I'm taking the group hug stamp set and I'm going to use the sentiment that says you bring me great joy. And at first I was going to use that large friend die that I showed in the beginning of the video, but when I placed it on the card it just didn't look quite right. So I cut that part out and saved us a little time so you can just see what I decided to do at the end was to uh, stamp this sentiment. And I really love the way that it looked. I don't typically do sentiments that go sideways or vertically like this, but I thought it looked really nice and it just kind of fit in with the layout of this card. So I'm just using some Walnut Stain Distress Ink from Tim Holtz and stamping that down. 
So now my stamping is done and you'll notice my pattern paper strips got a little bit shorter. Uh, that's because when I stamped my sentiment, of course, I didn't really precisely measure where to put it and it ended up going over too far and therefore had to cut down those pattern papers, but not a big deal, just a little adjustment I had to make. So now I decided to take a heart from the group hug stamp set and stamp that in the middle of my mug just to add a cute little accent. And I was inspired by that salmon peach color in that patterned paper and wanted to stamp it in a similar color. So I used Pale Tomato from Hero Arts to stamp that heart. So now I'm really speeding this part up so it goes fast. I'm just adhering everything down using my Tombow Multi Glue and yeah, just putting those pieces right in line where I planned on using them, gluing them down, and then I'm going to use uh, some foam adhesive to pop up my mug. I just wanted to add a little bit of a finishing touch on this card. So I took my fine linen ink from Paper Tray Ink and a little sponge dauber and just decided to really subtly sponge the edge of each of the sides of the card just to give a little more depth and just kind of warm it up a little bit since I used some nice warm patterned papers on here. So that's gonna finish up this card. I really hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the description box below for all of the links to the stamps and dies that I used from Paper Smooches. And please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to catch my latest crafty videos. Thank you so much.